Okay, what is up, my dudes? Today we're gonna play some Oaken Artillery. Uh, I don't think, I don't even know if Oaken plays anymore, but this is the deck Oaken played. He basically just went double half Inferno spam against absolutely everything. Um, which is a pretty outrageous, a pretty outrageous strategy. If you guys have not tried this, I say this like all the time. I swear I've mentioned this a bunch of times in videos as well, but double half Inferno spam is basically the easiest strategy in the entire game to pull off. And I'm always baffled that you don't see more people doing it. Obviously, Inferno did get a nerf, so the strategy is probably a, a bit weaker than it used to be. But, um... I don't know, we'll see We'll see if it's any good at all. But, uh, yeah, Double Half Inferno spam is, like, incredibly powerful and super easy to do. So, yeah, I don't know why more people don't do it, to be honest. Obviously, we want to stall as well because we have artillery. And uh, shock is shock trooper is a bit of a problem for us. We don't really have an out to shock trooper until our inferno comes out. But hopefully, that shouldn't take too long. Oh, maybe we'll go phantom first. He's obviously going to go for my half, isn't he? Oh, he's going to go for my half. Insanity. All right, we'll go Phantom first. Uh, we should be able to win the missile off of this, hopefully. Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? All right, cool. Um, I don't even know if I should spam Infernos, because I feel like I'm not that far off artillery now. And obviously, if we can just make an artillery, that's better. I don't really know to be honest. I feel like Oaken would make an it would make an inferno, but maybe he wouldn't. Maybe maybe if he was in this spot and he was so close to the artillery, he'd just go artillery. In fact, I think I just missed the opportunity to make an artillery. So that was a slight misplay. Yeah, you're not gonna get there, bro. I see you eyeing it up. It's not gonna happen. Run away, artillery! <laughs> Wait for the phantom to reload! <laughs> Alright, cool. Good job, phantom. Now, you can pretty much just make phantoms to go with your artillery, because artillery beats everything. Except air. So you just need, like, a couple of phantoms and an artillery, and you, uh, yeah, you win the game against everything. I guess tech, tech units are pretty, artillery is pretty bad against other tech units. Titan wipes the floor with artillery. I've definitely beaten Titan with artillery before, but yeah, you don't want to be playing against any tech unit with artillery. Like, you really don't want to play against any tech unit when you have artillery. It's just a bad, it's a bad time. Artillery just isn't very good against tech. Dog opening is a little bit scary. Dog opening is like the most aggressive opening. Which means the missile will charge a lot. Look at that, perfectly timed, so we still have a grey missile. Feels amazing. Should I double half here? Kind of not sure. I think, I think I will. I don't know if that's correct, though. I kind of feel like maybe I'm supposed to wait on the second harvester. Okay, he has shock, which does mean I need second harvester, so maybe it was a good choice. Uh oh, Grenadier as well. That's not great for me. Definitely gonna lose this missile. But that's okay. We're gonna start spamming our infernos now. Let's hope he doesn't have sling or ammo head. I guess. Wow, that was not the play. Looks like he does have sling. That's not great for me. Probably need to get to artillery ASAP. Hello, can I just spam? Can I just spam the infernos? I'm not sure to be honest. 
<laughs> Got him. I don't know if I don't know if I can just spam infernos against slings. Slings are kind of scary. Kind of seems like maybe I can. The spam infernos versus everything. Super OP. Yay, Inferno! Good unit. Can't actually move in here. Yep, there's just another Inferno, my guy. <laughs> what, what did you think was gonna be there? It's obviously just another Inferno. Yeah. You can see why this strategy is stupid. All right, now we just switch into the artillery. I do actually need to maybe consider losing these infernos. Although I don't think he has air. I don't know for sure. Hmm, McNeil on artillery. That's pretty scary. Hope he doesn't have Orca. Doesn't look like he has Orca. Doesn't look like he has anything. It looks like this artillery is GG. Classic artillery. I've got a phantom anyway, just cause. That's what you do with artillery. You just like preemptive phantom, cause, you know. What can you ever lose to once you have an artillery? Only air units. Is he gonna try and kill my base? That's kind of annoying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do I care? I kind of think I don't care. That was cute. It was a cute little move with the McNeil trap. But McNeil's pretty strong, man. Like, the Grens take forever to kill with artillery. But yeah, as you can see. <laughs> Double half Inferno artillery. Pretty dumb. I've also got like 400 tier, but I should have pulled both my halves. Did I see how McNeil didn't affect Inferno? I mean, it does affect Inferno. But in since an Inferno's, like an Inferno's attack time is what, like 0.1 seconds? So with a McNeil trap, it'll be 0.17 seconds. So yeah, it will affect it. It just doesn't, it's not really relevant. Uh oh, buggy and a gun. It's kind of scary. Yeah, again, like if your attack time is zero seconds, then a McNeil trap isn't gonna do much to slow you down. Like, zero seconds slowed down by 70% is still zero seconds. Uh oh, tank. Tank is, uh, tank, tank buggy is real bad for me. This is not how you win with tank, though. Where's the buggy gone? Why hasn't he got the buggy to help with the lasers? What a weird game this has been. Alright, I guess I'll make infernos. That seems like a good choice. Has he just given up? He's like, no, I went buggy tank and I didn't win immediately, so I'm done. Alright, I respect that decision. Didn't get the half, he knows the game's over. If Obviously, if he gets the half, he wins instantly, so it's, a, it's an all-in play. Alright, close game. Close game of Command & Conquer Rivals. I guess we could go for the artillery base kill. What is up, Swaggles? Here it comes, artillery base kill. Feels good, man. The artillery can fire even further than it can see. That's a pro loading tip.
What is happening? Did uh, am I the one who disconnected? Am I in fact going to lose this game? What a nightmare. <laughs> Objective complete. Three, two, one. New objective available. Harvester more. Yeah, it means the attack range is, is more than vision, because it can only see two tiles, but it can shoot three. And whose bright idea was that, I wonder? I can definitely see how, when designing this game, you might think, oh, let's have some multi-range units, like two range units, that would be cool. You really have to play the game before you're like, hmm. <laughs> These two range units are a little obnoxious. There's actually quite a lot. I mean, there's a lot of things, right? I think, um, having, having played Rivals, like, I've played Rivals for years now. So having played Rivals for a very long time, there's like a bunch of stuff where I'm like, this could have been better. But that makes sense, right? Like after like basically playtesting for years, it makes sense that you would come up with a few things, a few tweaks that would probably make the game better. Also, obviously, everyone's going to have their own opinion of what those tweaks should be. Like just because I think something would make the game better doesn't mean everyone else is going to agree with me. I'm gonna leave this one bike because I don't want to let the two bikes in. Oh, I shouldn't actually be charging the missile, that's stupid. Alright, now we're we'll Oh shit. Wow. Paid 80 to get 80. Fucking got me, mate. <laughs> Absolutely destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. His guy is plus zero Tiberium. I feel quite wrecked. 80 cost missile to get back 80 Tiberium. That that's that's uh that's a man who really believes that destroying the harvester wins him the game right there. Air block. Oh, I missed the air block. Inferno too slow. My Phantom isn't even good against Banshee, so this is not gonna end that well. All right, got him. The thing is, Azan, my guy, you might think you're making some progress, but in fact, I can just make four more Infernos. <laughs> I can just keep making these, my guy. That's the that's the double half Inferno life. There will not come a time when I can no longer afford these Infernos. I guess like four, four minutes in when the Tib runs out, I won't be able to build Infernos anymore. But since I'm at like a billion Tiberium, I guess I'll just make the artillery now. I don't really want to go into my own fire, that feels like not great. God, this strategy is just so broken, man. Oh no, my artillery. <laughs> I guess we'll make another one. Yeah, this uh, this strategy is just so dumb. Look at this, man. I've still got like fucking 140 tib as well. I'm still just rolling in cash. This is literally the easiest strategy in the entire game. I don't understand why more people don't play this strategy. Because it is so brain dead and so powerful. I don't really understand why though. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right, game number five. Now, admittedly, this is Credit Blitz, which does tend to be one of the easier events, but also it just that's the beauty of this deck. It doesn't really matter how your opponent plays. Like, what, all that matters is what's in their deck. Like, if they have air-to-air, -air, it's way harder to win with this deck. But if they don't, then it's pretty much just a complete free roll. Unit 
I don't know, man. I know I have like a personal vendetta against Slingshot, but also it's just such a it's such a toxic unit because it, it either like it's either like triple quadruple S tier or it's like C tier, depending on what air your opponent is playing. And that's just such a ridiculous unit. Like sometimes it's just the absolute best unit you can possibly have, and it just completely annihilates your opponent's deck. And sometimes it does nothing. That seems like a really stupid unit to me. All right, here comes the Inferno boys. I guess we should go lasers to go with the Inferno until we have enough money for more Infernos. Inferno, you're so slow! Let's go, man! So close. Oh shit, here's the slingshot. The nightmare. Alright, in that case, we probably just go artillery ASAP. Yikes. At least we know he hasn't got Iron Cannon available. Nice Iron Cannon, bro. <laughs> thing is, people use that a lot, the nice Iron Cannon, bro, but like a lot of the time the Iron Cannon was fine. It was a perfectly fine Iron Cannon. <laughs> Iron Cannon's also going to be pretty problematic for me here. <laughs> Shit, maybe I shouldn't have built an Inferno. Why even build a, uh, whatever that's called, an Orca? That thing's quite expensive, and he probably built the air tower to build it. Like, did, couldn't he just have built a, couldn't he just iron cannon for the same price? Gonna get the second artillery behind the first artillery in case he iron cannons one of them. <laughs> Yeah, actually, that reminds me. I should pull my half. Thanks for the reminder, guy. Because <laughs> the harvester doesn't die to the iron cannon either, so it's, it's a pretty good pull. Look how much stuff I have and 230 tier. Can a man be any more dead than this guy is? Yeah, bro, I've got the harvester there. <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> This deck is outrageous. I hope you guys enjoyed that nonsense. The Oaken Artillery deck. It's a, it's a very good deck. Like, it's just a super busted deck. Alright, see you next time.